Samsung Galaxy A52, the successor to A51, comes with a large 6.5 inch screen and 4 rear cameras. We tried it out briefly, so see what our impressions are. With the A52 you get everything you need, power charging and cable are included. The device itself is big, it has 8.4mm in profile and may not fit those with smaller fists. The case is plastic and it's immediately visible. Samsung is clearly wanting to distance itself from the more expensive S-series. The charger slot is C-type and the A52 also contains a 3.5mm audio output. The A52 could be a bit bulky in someone's pocket, but it's a compromise between a big screen and the good price of the device. The screen is the biggest advantage of this device. With a relatively thin bezel, the 6.5 inch diagonal offers 405 ppi of pixel density and 800 nits of brightness, which sets it apart from the devices in this price range. The colors look good, attractive and rich. Visibility outside in direct sunlight is quite good. The latest Android 11 comes with Samsung's One UI 3.1 upgrade that runs smoothly, looks refreshing and is very intuitively set. Camera-wise, the A52 offers as many as 4 back cameras and one front. With 64 megapixel main back camera and 3 auxiliary ones, the A52 offers vivid, detailed and dynamic photos with excellent color sharpness. Also, A52 offers the option of recording video in 4K resolution at 30 frames per second, compared to its predecessor, which offers only full HD. The front camera, although the same resolution as its predecessor, offers excellent contrast and great color range. With a great screen, great camera, new Android 11 OS, the A52 stands out from its predecessor and with its simple design suits both younger and older generations. I personally have A51 and I can say that A52, both in the design and use, it's a very nice refreshment.